Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Grand Carnival um, OVA 2 or I'm not sure if you call this season 2 but the new one that came out quite recently. Uh, not recently but it's been a while that it came out. Unfortunately I was unaware of the fact that this already had subtitles. So it, it took me a bit of time to actually like you know react to this. So here I am today reacting to this. Um, it's a 30 32 minutes video and uh, yeah like the trailer was extremely interesting i really love the fact the whole thing with ash Giggle and and the servants being overworked all that stuff you know i'm really looking forward to this one and fgo's like you know comedy like fate's comedy is fantastic one of the best comedies like you know like i have come across in anime so yeah let's get into this now i'm not sure like you know what like you know like what's going to happen we kind of get like a little gist in the trailer so i'm guessing it will be something related to the servants who have been overworked like you know just like how we masters use a specific set of servants to farm day and night and <laughs> yeah it'll be something with that and ash giggle as a youtuber as well so yeah without further ado let's get started so as usual like because of copyright i'll be blurring the video and no audio the time I will be giving here so you should play the video alongside my reaction if you want to watch it like that so yeah so yeah without further ado let's get started so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get this video started all right so here's the countdown three two one go okay what the hell, Merlin? <laughs> this is Frankenstein. Life is gotcha. Of wow, that's an interesting quote. That's a really witty quote. Like, life is a gotcha of laughter and sorrow, something like that. <laughs> Damn, Saber and Nero are just <laughs> not happy. The both of them looking at each other in like you know. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, this is the one that we, the little trailer we saw. Ashikal being a YouTuber, a mukbang YouTuber. Oh boy. The whole um, Kabakura episode was already. We saw it in the previous episode, didn't we? Yeah. Gilgamesh being there. I love how they changed Carnival uh, Phantasm's anim, uh, anime opening. Like, did not change much things, but the characters are only changed, and the opening is the same. I love that fact. Like, all the characters are Fate Grand Order related, unlike Carnival Phantasm, where there is Sukihime and you know Fate characters. So, all right, let's see. Rinzira. Oh, really? Golden apples, oh my god. <laughs> Documentary inequality among hero experience, basic labor loss for hero experience. <laughs> oh, Finis Caldea. Oh, Oh no, everyone's, everyone is going to farm. Blackbeard. Okay. Inhuman king of... Fire king, okay. 
ओके 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 आई अंडरस्टैंड ओ माय गॉड गिल्स को तारो किड गिल ओके सो दे डोंट जी सान सो दे डोंट टेक देम टू फार्म ओके एफ सान ओह दिस इज सो रिलेटेबल ओह माय गॉड I'm sorry. I'm sorry you guys. <laughs> this is too relatable. What the hell is this? Casta <laughs> Jisan. Ah. Okay, he's taking this in a very positive light. Oh, damn, that looks good. Arash <laughs> Marlin, wait for. Shukatsko me. List of the richest servant. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but still. <laughs> but then it started to get tiring. Oh my god Damn Relationship of the other man Oh 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 okay I'm sorry waiver. Unfortunately I don't have him. That's the case. Good. Okay. Was Columbus? What's he doing? Is in Pachinko or something? Is this Pachinko? <laughs> okay. What? Okay, it is patching go god damn. Oh, he's doing gacha here as well. Oh. <laughs> well. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh Sitona you rail. Oh my god. <laughs> Much <laughs> Red hair is with Gudao. Gudako. Stop trusting the Stella.
Ja, senpai. Ähm... Well. <laughs> Used all resources on one horse. <laughs> Carrots of my red horse. I wonder what his bond level is. 12? I'm talking about red horse. Uh, red hire. <laughs> I renounced. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> Victory. Oh, did, did, did she listen to them? Okay. Basic labor law. Oh, okay, okay, good. Damn. But I w wonder what the punchline is. Oh, damn, Waver is hospitalized. On the day we... Oh my god. Those who do not work for any reason will continue to live. <laughs> oh no. And look at Chris Columbus here. Same. <laughs> wow. Damn, that's impressive. <laughs> Warms up the chair. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> Wait, wh why is there no egg? <laughs> True. True. <laughs> Appearances are counted. <clears throat> yep. Wow. Up to four can be invoked per month. Damn, that's sad. I should start streaming. Yeah, you should do that. You know, like take up a hobby or something. Oh my god, Frankenstein. <clears throat> ah, there you go. Oh, Blackbeard also has a channel. There you go. He really started streaming. <laughs> oh. Count of Monte... Oh. Wait, is this a game? What is this? Oh no. Oh my god, poor. To be continued. Whoa. What the? Oh, okay. 
Um. <laughs> Oh, again, how many? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, there's an imposter. <laughs> there you go. Okay. The imposter has been ejected. Oh, here we go. Um, what was the, uh, the... What was... I forgot the... The laughing button or something? Damn, all the um, scenes that were shown. Bartender, yeah, J Moriarty. Alright. Let's see what what advice he gives this time to who who is this? Oh, Babbage. All right, something about Frankenstein. I'm guessing. <coughs> um. That's good. Oh. Oh, that's how Frankenstein... Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Victor's daughter. True. You must decide what you want them to think of you. Oh no, he he's getting into his head again. Just like Lancelot. Here we go. Here we go. Another victim. Let's see what he does this time. My god. Probably he's going to traumatize Frank. Whoa. Oh, damn. Uh, who are you? Oh. Another successful job done. All right. <laughs> there you go. Again, another victim, the bartender who laughs. Oh. Oh no, here we go again. <laughs> oh no. Oh, apples. Three and a half hours. Okay. What happened? <laughs> what the wait who's this oh it's the okay doomsit doomsy wait um is it isn't doomsit supposed to be ashkegal's husband <laughs> Appeal. There you go. Savatu. Oh, 
Oh my god, here we go, the, the clickbaits. <laughs> All the figurines. Oh! Damn! <laughs> and she's like, what the hell is this? Wow! Extraordinary profit. 15k. Oh my god, all the QPs! I wonder if Merlin's going to start. Clap, clap, clap. Let's see. Then. <laughs> Brushing the teeth. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh my god. Oh, I do you know, yo Wow, that Ojo Sama laugh, great. <laughs> okay, let, let's see how she gets viral. Well, clickbait. Itchiness. Bond channel. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, 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 and this is a bit extreme, I think. Well, Blackbeard with Blackbeard. Damn, damn, look at that. <laughs> More competition. The recommendation? What's <laughs> gonna lose weight? The Musashi plushie. Oh no! Okay. Oh! <laughs> yeah, she doesn't even know. <clears throat> yeah, and if she... Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see how it goes. Oh, super chats.
Oh, this is the first time. Just as nervous I am. Dude, you can mess up and you can't even edit it out. Like. Okay. <clears throat> oh no, they're, they're basically okay. Wow. <laughs> okay, everyone's having a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of QP as well. This, they're getting a lot of QP as well. Oh my god! It's Dimuzuid. Nice. Oh no, here we go! <laughs> oh god. And Erish doesn't even have any skin. Erish doesn't even have any skin. <laughs> and... There's only one Irish girl, no alternate Irish girls, so she can't. Oh god. Okay, she won. Oh yeah, okay, there you go. I, I was kind of thinking. <laughs> but her channel got. Wait, that's a grave. Yo! Oh no! Calm down! Uh... Oh no! Eskigal? Yeah? Okay? Wow, okay, there you go. That's the end of the YouTube career. <laughs> Wave a nitro Chris. <laughs> My god. Uh. <laughs> mm. uh, that's true, you know? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the same for me as well, so... But I also have, like, you know, like... Okay, I'll talk about it later. Wait, didn't you know that? <laughs> uh.
Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay, so d did she quit you too after that or did she continue? <laughs> hmm. Well, she's already popular, like... Okay. Okay, that's the end. I really hope... I, I'm sure they'll make another one. If fate allows it. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> that is luck. Yep, I'll be waiting for it. I wonder what they'll do next time. Oh, Onicure. All right. Whoa, what the? Uh, oh, that's Castoria. <laughs> yeah, Castor is perfect for a Ma uh, uh, Maho Shoujo. <laughs> oh my god that was good all right And they, uh, they, they showed this, the ending in the previous episode as well, didn't they? I, I kind of forgot. Like, it's been a while I've watched the first episode. Yeah, yeah, they showed this. Damn, uh, Blackbeard is quite tall. I didn't even know, like, realize that all the time. Like, all the male servants are so huge. Like, huge and big and tall. Like, you know, like, an... okay, there you go. This Quasal Quartal is also quite tall. <laughs> Whoa! Frankenstein! Yeah, like, all the male servants are so tall. What the hell? I'm guessing next, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> this was the real thing. Okay, let's see. I'll... <laughs> it's your kids. <laughs> wow again Lancer is dead all right that's the end okay wow that was good <laughs> like i love the way they made this so relatable you know like the whole first section was very much relatable you know how we don't even use a lot of servants like <laughs> the the way they were complaining like they were like uh, i think gil was it gil or who was that i think it was gil's raise yeah he said something like oh like we're not even leveled up now <laughs> yeah like it's kind of true you know I'm, I'm sure a lot of people also kind of do this like a lot of servants uh like gil's and all, all the other other few servants 
Um, I also have a few servants which I still have not leveled up. Like, I, I always think that, yeah, this time I'll do it, this time I'll do it, but I, I never do. So it's kind of true, like, but um, like I've, I've leveled up quite a few after, like, you know, uh, after I started uh, FGO, like, you know, making videos on FGO, I've leveled up quite a lot of servants, like, which I didn't level up, bother leveling up before. And yeah, I think I have probably a few not leveled up, a few of them, which I don't really use. For example, there are a few four star servants that I have not leveled up, which I never use, like um, Beowulf. I, I don't use him, that's why I've not leveled him up. And a few uh, three star servants as well. Uh, I have not leveled up one welfare servant, which is Seek. Like, there's a few of these servants that I've still not leveled up. I. I kind of think like, yeah, I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to do it this time. But then like, no, <laughs> it never happens. So yeah, I should probably do it. Like, you know, like having a roaster full of all leveled up servant kind of looks nice. So at least for that. But yeah, as they were like, you know, they were kind of saying that. And I do have Blackbeard leveled up, I think. Yeah, max leveled. Blackbeard is max leveled. I have gills. I Do I have gills max leveled? I don't remember. I have Kid Gil leveled up max, or do I? I have Kotaro max level, that I know. Um, I can't remember at all. <laughs> so yeah, like, it's too relatable. This is, this is so relatable. And they're like, yeah, like one or two times Master only uses us. And, <laughs> you know, like, that's true as well. Like, when do we even actually use servants like Blackbeard? or Geronimo um, when they are probably involved in some events and there's like a bonus you know a bonus amount of whatever event drops you get if you include them in your party that's when we use them and they don't even get to fight because they're basically at the end <laughs> you know like the main three servants are the damage dealers and the support characters so those are kind of remains the same while the last few servants are the backup servants we kind of include them in there and they don't they don't even get to fight they're only put in the party they're like uh reserve uh what do you call them Re support no reserve benches yeah i think that's what you call them you know they they go to the uh, battlefield kind of sit down see the fight happening the fight has been won and then they go back <laughs> that's what happens so yeah it's true it's very much true <laughs> The way they're saying, I was feeling bad. And the whole thing with Waver, it, it would have been relatable if I actually had him. Like, I don't have Waver. I do plan on getting him in the next anniversary when we're going to get a <clears throat> free 5-star. I do plan on getting him before that, uh, uh, in, in that. So, yeah, after that, I'll obviously, like, you know, max Waver up. And then I'm going to use the hell out of him. <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately, the whole waiver thing was unrelatable to me, but I'm sure it's relatable to uh, most of you who have waivers. So yeah, and uh, obviously the other characters like Arash, Nitokris, Merlin as well, you know, they are also kind of <laughs> at the same boat, like they have been used so much and like imagine how Arash feels. All the time he has to use his noble phantasm, he dies and <laughs> like... He was like, I can't even say my winning, like, you know, last words that they say. Like, like at least let me say that once. <laughs> oh my god. And... <clears throat> yeah, this was, this was such a relatable, like, I love this. Like, this, this is why I really like FGO, like, these type of uh, spin-offs, these type of comedy spin-offs, like Carnival Phantasm or Fate Grand Carnival, where they just, like, you know... I don't know, they like, do weird random stuff, kind of makes out, makes relatable jokes. And this really shows how, like, you know, like, I'm really glad that they kind of keep an eye out on the uh, people who actually play the game. Because uh, unless and until you know your audience, you won't be able to make these type of jokes, you know, like these type of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, no, relatable. These type of relatable jokes. You won't be able to do that. That that really shows that they kind of keep an eye out on the players, what they do usually, the like, you know, the things that they do, the strategies that they follow. And they keep an eye out for, on that. And that's how they are able to make these jokes, which is good. I'm really glad. And I'm really happy. I, I'm, I'm sure they'll make more relatable jokes like this in the future episodes as well, which I'm really looking forward to because this is 
this is this is really great like you know like fourth wall breaking or making relatable jokes is one of the best uh, forms of comedy because it's it's basically like that yeah you have an idea of what's happening and you kind of twist that thing make it into a joke and you know release it so yeah they're keeping an eye out on their target audience and what they do so yeah that's that's really nice <clears throat> and uh, okay and then this start a little um revolt you know they're like yeah give us more what do you call it heroic spirit um laws or something yeah that thing happens and <laughs> marsh is like marsh is like uh master you always use your uh what do you call them um uh all the mats everything all the uh embers on that horse that's why this is happening i i, I do wonder how like what is gudako's red horse uh, red hair is uh hair's tax i'm sure it's max bonded out you know um how much is the max bond now in na i think it's is it 50 i'm not sure Something like that, like, I don't even know because I don't have any of them. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, something like that. So I'm guessing it's max bonded out and it's all like, you know, like everything's max. Like all the skills are max, each and everything is max. And she still, like, you know, <laughs> feeds the carrots to red hair. So, yeah, like, I wonder, is there like something, like, I don't know, like, is there a reason why Gudako likes red ho hair so much? Like, was that explained ever? Like, I, I feel like they, like, you know, this thing, this joke has been there from quite a, for quite a while. But is there a specific reason why this happened? Like, why Gudako started liking red horse hair so much? If there is, let me know in the comment section, because I can't remember if they actually explained the reason. But, yeah. But anyways, um... Okay, and yeah, as I was saying, they kind of do the little revolt, and Gudako is like, all right, like, fine, like, I, I accept it. But unfortunately, what happens is all the, like, you know, the, the job that everyone was doing kind of gets piled onto Waver, and Waver gets hospitalized. And he's like, yeah, like, Master, there was a time when I really liked this, you know, like, Master used to take me to each and every battle, and then I realized it's not me that my master liked it's my skills <laughs> that's sad <laughs> oh my god wow <laughs> that was good and there's like a, a bowl of golden apples and everything like wow okay that was that and then like you know there's a little section of uh the laughing bartender now this thing i uh happened in the previous epi uh, episode as well where he kind of made lancer fall into his trap and you know like mashu kind of <laughs> mashu beat him up or something i don't know what she did but yeah after that whole thing that he did you remember the um <laughs> anyways um so like that's when like you know people in the comment section told me that this is like uh, i think this is something like this laughing bartender is like a, um, a tv show or something where in, in japan there is like a bartender like this who listens to other people's problems gives them solutions but the solutions are actually kind of work in a completely opposite way and then they fall into some like you know uh, bad situation or something and that's what he does it's like a like, you know little like a comedy thing or something i think i'm, I'm not sure i can i can't properly remember what the comment said but it's something like that so <clears throat> I, I, I like you know like so th this is the same thing that moriarty does here as well he he gives them gives babbage correct advice but he does not give him the full advice he's like you know what you need to change you know like unless and until you change you won't be seeing change and that's correct you know so Moriarty does change, uh, not Moriarty, Babbage does change, but Frankenstein like attacks him and then <laughs> Moriarty is at the background, he's like, but all the time the change like, you know, is not accepted well by the other party. So you should keep an eye out on that. But unfortunately it was too late because yeah, and 
Babbage, like Frankenstein, like you know, I don't know, like started chasing Babbage after that, or something happened, and it failed his attempt to score points with uh, Frankenstein. And yeah, that's that's what happened. Moriarty does this, like you know, he kind of gives incomplete advices, which unfortunately, <laughs> like you know, like kind of backfires, and then he gives the full advice to us audience. So. Yeah, and obviously, like, Moriarty and Babbage kind of had, like, a little rivalry all the time of being the better dad or something. <laughs> uh, I, I think I remember when this whole thing started of, like, you know, who is the better dad, Babbage or Moriarty? I think it was in one of the summer events, in, in the Ishtar race, I think that was it called. Yeah, like, I think that's the first time that Moriarty and, uh, yeah, Moriarty and um, Babbage kind of teamed up with Frankenstein. I think that's when this whole thing started, this whole joke of who is the better dad of Frankenstein. <laughs> and it's still ongoing, like I like it. Oh boy. Alright, anyways, okay, that was that. And then we get to the next part, the cutest part of like you know, Eshkigal and oh okay, here this is the thing. Doomsuit is actually in, like according to mythology, Doomsuit is is, is uh Eshkigal's husband, isn't it? I think so. I think I've, I've read that somewhere. Um, let me know if I'm wrong. So, yeah, like the next portion starts, we see Doomsuit giving Eshkigal some advice. Like, you know, Eshkigal is like, yeah, Master doesn't like me anymore. Like, you know, she takes uh, all the other servants and I'm just, you know, sitting there <laughs> all alone. So, what should I do? Doomsuit gives her advice and, like, you know, like she gets to know about Sabatu. <laughs> or servant tube and also Kabehime obviously like you know she she's as she said she's a net junkie she obviously will be um more like you know like accustomed to these type of things like streaming and doing youtube stuff so, or servant tube stuff <laughs> so yeah now like then <laughs> Eshika starts another channel and she's not getting views because she's not you know like what do you call them clickbaiting or doing um those uh, what do you think like the trends that she's not following the trends and uh, like yeah if it's true it's really true you know like as as we see fkl was getting like how many four or five likes every every um uh, what do you call it every video every video and it's true like you know like every everything like there's like a trend in youtube all the time i think uh, the current trend is those short videos you know like i see them like there's like some like 30 second video or something and you know like this is like a little small little like funny thing and there's like immense views in that like it, it can be some random stuff you know with with a, with a catchy sub uh, a catchy title there needs to be a catchy title like um this happened uh, or what like you know the, i did this guess what happened or something like that like a catchy title and there's like the, the video should be less than a minute and bam you get views you get um, um, like millions of views because obviously like people don't have time nowadays <laughs> we kind of look at like oh this this video is short it won't take much time so we click on it and uh, we kind of see this and then there's like another recommendation and i'm like okay um like yeah like this is also under one minute so this also wouldn't take a lot of time and we click on that as well and this chain continues and suddenly we see we're 30 minutes in and we're still seeing them like you know like less than one minute videos it's it's so what do you call it eye-catching because it's less than one minute and there's like this uh, this flashy title the 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 inside of it the video is random stuff but it's still entertaining so <laughs> that's i think that's like the current trend in youtube i'm seeing a lot of these videos so <laughs> just like that we see ashkigal also kind of Mm, like you know following the trend where she's she starts posting outrageous titles for example um like it took me a while to actually understand what she did like you know like what is that when doomsuit um it gives her advice the first one uh today i sent a kyle's amazon.com orders like this this joke actually took me a little bit of time to understand and then i realized okay this is Penthalesia. And we're talking about Achilles. Like both of them means disaster. And that's when I realized that, oh, that's the joke. <laughs> okay, that's the first one. Like these are like these, these outrageous titles. And the next one. 
I changed the interior of Salieri's room with pure Amadio stuff. Another one. Another outrageous thing. <laughs> like, Ashkel really did catch on the trend. Like, she really understood what people, like, you know, click on. And she, like, executed it perfectly. Like, obviously, if, if you see these type of th things in, um, like, you know, in YouTube, these type of outrageous stuff, obviously, you're going to click on it. Like, you know, wonder what's going to happen if Akiles and um, Penthalicia come together. Or, like, if Salieri and uh, Mozart um, kind of, like, you know, like, their interiors designs are changed and stuff related to the other person is sent to them. Like, these type of outrageous stuff. Okay, um, the next one. I tried to use the forbidden direct current and alternating current. AC through Edison. <laughs> DC to te Tesla. <laughs> okay. Okay. Today I intend to pretend that I am hurt in front of Nightingale. I think you should probably not do that because Nightingale will probably amputate you. Like that's what's going to happen. You know? So please don't do that. <laughs> oh god. And then the collaboration with Blackbeard. I intend to play the real make Blackbeard jump with one shot and Blackbeard is inside a barrel. I, I think Blackbeard probably got some, uh, like, you know, he also has an, a, a YouTube, ch uh, a servant tube channel. So I'm guessing he also got a lot of new, um, uh, you know, fans, subscribers from this because, you know, he, this is like a little collab, I guess. There you go. Like, it's all not, it's not all is bad for Blackbeard because I'm sure he gained quite a few subscribers from that. <laughs> Okay. Please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Oh my god. Yeah, Ashigal really caught that trend. She, she was able to understand the essence of, um, what, do you, what do you call, outrageous titles and clickbait. She was able to understand that and I'm proud of her. <laughs> and then Osakabe is like, you know what, let's do a collab. And that's kind of like a genuine good idea because both their subscribers would increase both their views will increase and new people will follow them and check them out and but unfortunately like everyone's like you know both of them started it, it started as a normal stream but by the end of it both of them were trash talking each other and you know they were like oh you did this you messed up like this you did that <laughs> oh my god and then you know, like Dumzud is like, you know what? I'm proud of you, Ash Kegel, and gives a lot of QP. <sighs> so <laughs> Osakabe is like, yeah, enough is enough. Let's change into my other form, my archer form. And she brings out the swimsuit. Now here's the thing. Ash Kegel won't be able to do that because she doesn't have an alternative form. Like no skins for Ash Kegel, no alternative forms of Ash Kegel. Lancer is the only form that she has. So yeah, and even his ascension arts are pretty normal, you know, so You know what maybe maybe this is like a hint Maybe this is a hint that we're going to get an Ishkigal um, Servant in the future, you know, and a new one and a new alternative or something I really hope I really hope we get one because I think it's been quite a while I'm talking about JP. I'm not talking about NA. In NA we recently got Space Ishtar but in JP, I think this, it's been a long while that uh, there was a rain phase. So yeah, I wouldn't complain if we get another rain phase, specifically if it's like an Eshkigal, you know, variant, not an Ishtar. Uh, there's a lot of Ishtar variants, like Ishtar, Rider Ishtar and Space Ishtar. So yeah, we need an Eshkigal variant. So maybe this is like a hint. They're hinting that, yeah, we have something in store for you. <laughs> Wishful thinking. So yeah, hopefully. Hopefully something like that happens in the future. I'm sure they'll do because yeah, like Ashkel is huge as a servant So it's kind of surprising. They never like, you know uh, Released anything related to Ashkel after that because rain faces are huge and Everyone's going to definitely roll for them. But yeah, anyways, okay. Yeah, so Ashkel is like, oh, I can't do anything at this and she failed but then she gets a <laughs> A holy grail, which was inside Doomsuit, and she starts, like, you know, like, she starts invoking a singularity. Gudako goes, clears that out, 
and Weaver and all of them are just all worn down and Eshgal is like I'm sorry like and I didn't want to do this but you you don't pay attention to me master <laughs> and Gudak was like like what are you even talking about your bond is level 10 that's why I don't take you and that is really the case with I'm sure a lot of people because I remember when as soon as I got Ishtar and Eshgal I used to include them in each and every battle even if he if they didn't participate in them they used to be in the back you know in the backup uh, slots so every every what do you call it every battle i used to include them and then they reached level 10 and i'm like okay like at, at that time when they reached level 10 uh, there was like you know like the increased bond was not a thing you know like there was there was no level 11 12 bond so i was like you know what yeah that's over i got the bond ce and i got le them level 10 Okay, now let's substitute them for someone else because obviously like you know like i need to increase the bond of other servants as well so that's how i did it so <laughs> but now obviously we have some uh, extra bond you know like it's level 11 and 12 as well it's included so i think yeah i'm sure a lot of people like uses them like after the bond got increased they use them a lot more so yeah i think uh no this this came out quite recently so i don't know why they did not include the increased bond thing you know like we saw that uh sk girls bond is maxed out at level 10 but nowadays you can increase it beyond max 10 uh bond 10 so i don't know why they did not include that maybe uh, i don't know anyways um but yeah that's how it goes and that was too relatable i'm like yeah damn like i also kind of did that as far as i can remember <laughs> and then sk girl is like oh like so that's why you don't take me anymore and she's like okay like yeah like i'm maxed out my bond is maxed out so yeah that's why <laughs> and yeah that was that was like a cute little part and then she got like you know like it's like happy and jumping <laughs> that was cute okay and that was the end of Elshkegal's dilemma everyone happy by the end of it and yeah and i think osakabe's uh, channel got blocked or something because of i think so <laughs> because of seven two guidelines i guess all right and then we get a little uh, oni cure you know like we see that the a new rival or whatever is coming who is castoria and i have to be honest here castoria does look like a mm, maho shoujo so <laughs> yeah that was just it and then the ending scene of taiga uh, not taiga jaguar man and sitonai <laughs> my god okay that was really good i love that my god i really hope they i'm, I'm sure they'll make this they said you know, they said they'll make more of them and yeah i'm 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 glad this is happening and hopefully like you know like um hopefully we get to see some other like you know characters like also get spotlight like this for example um who musashi miyamoto musashi if she, if she gets like a spotlight a little spotlight i don't know like her just traveling and eating oden or something like that type of thing or someone else um who any anyone like you know any any, any of the popular servants i'm sure they'll get more um screen time after this so i'm looking really looking forward to this so yeah that was it oh boy it's so relatable i love it and yeah the whole bond thing was one of the most relatable things that i at least have like you know like and i myself have done like the whole thing with elsh girl and when the bond was maxed out i kind of substituted her for someone else and didn't even take her after that and unless and until i needed to use her for some class and advantage stuff so yeah that was too relatable like that's how you know like i, th I, th I think i remember like my first this first seven that i max bonded was i think it was Nero yeah nero was the first four star servant uh, excluding uh, the one that i got in the uh, guaranteed one i got chevalier dion that's like my first four star servant unfortunately i burned him i don't know why but then i got him again later on so, <laughs> so yeah that was something um and then like you know like uh, the second four star servant i got was nero i think the nero fest was going on when i started the game so I, and I got her and I really liked Nero. I was like, damn, I got Nero. That's so good. So yeah. And Nero, like, you no, know, I think that's why Nero got her bond 
level maxed out at the beginning the first character i got my bond maxed is Nero, and then i remember it was jolter i think it was jolter yeah yeah and then there were a few other servants as well that i maxed out after that john the uh mama raiko um all the servants like oh nightingale nightingale was also one of the first servants that i maxed out because she was the first five star i got promise nightingale was the first five star that i got yeah i think okay uh, no i'm sorry uh, nero was the first character that i max bonded out nightingale was the second servant that max bonded out jolter was the third servant that was max bonded out for me and uh, and then i think it was john d arc and mama raiko and then after that i don't remember there are and then like a, quite a few servants. oh and then ishtar and eshkigal that was max bonded out after that yeah recently i got skadi max bonded out and now i'm trying to get kama max bonded so that's what's happening <laughs> you know so yeah that was quite relatable like you know switching out servants as soon as they're max bonded like, yeah that was good so yeah that was it guys that was my reaction to fate grand carnival um ova2 or season 2 if you call it you no know? um that was fantastic i loved it and i'm really looking forward to the next one i don't know when when it will come out but hopefully soon so yeah that's it guys if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know how you like this one and you know like things that you oh and there are a few parts i probably did not understand if i missed something missed a few jokes or something let me know in the comment section and i put out fgo videos like this every week one or two times and uh, lb5 is going to come out in na soon i'm going to make a gameplay video out of that as well so be sure to subscribe if you're interested in all of them and i'll be linking down my FGO, fgo playlist below click on it you'll go to all the stuff that i did with fgo so yeah that guys that was it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next fgo video that i make until then goodbye and have a nice day